Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. All righty, 24 hours away from doing my winter outlook, and so it's time to look back tonight at last winter. In case you forgot, it was warmer than normal, it was wetter than normal, and it was below normal on snowfall, although we ended up with about 10 inches. The funny thing about that was about eight of that all came at one time. Well, the big snowstorm there in early February, the rest of the winter didn't have a whole lot of snow. So I always kind of give you a track record of how I've done in the past. So you can see I've been keeping detailed record of my outlook since 06. So you can see my best year, 1415, did pretty well. Last year was not one of my better years, as you can see, 53%. But over the last number of years, 16 years, there's my average um, accuracy rate on the winter outlook. And again, coming up tomorrow night at this time, we'll have the winter outlook. By the way, I think we're going to try to do a, a Facebook Live on it later tonight on the preview, but tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, that's when we'll have the big winter weather outlook. And again, tonight, if you're uh, around, probably within about an hour or so, we may try to do a Facebook Live thing where I talk about some of the things that we look at and some of the years that were similar, some of the records and things like that. So we'll probably do that here in a little bit on uh, on our Facebook page. 52 and 26, a high and low for the day. We started cold, but we actually got up there above normal for a change. Definitely better than what we had over the weekend. No rain. That continues to be a thing. 0.73, that's where we are so far for the month, and we're two-thirds of the way through the month already. We do have a little bit of rain in the forecast, so we'll talk about that here in just a second. Well, by Shriver and Terre Haute, not really moving much. It's four and a half feet, holding steady at this time. Here's what we're tracking. Of course, we've got some nice weather that has moved in now, so it's warmer now. It's going to stay dry for a while. Late week rain, a couple shots of this, but it's going to stay mild even after that system passes through. I don't see anything real, real cold in the near future. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, not bad, 44. The pressure's falling some at 3027, but overall things have been quite nice across the area today. Temperatures right now are dropping out pretty quick because the air is pretty dry and it's, it's clear. So it's allowing these temperatures to drop. It will lead to another cold night tonight, but much of the country is looking a little bit better. You can see a surge of warmer air here, and some of that warmer air is going to move up into this area over the next couple of days. In the meantime, a little weak disturbance up here sliding down this way. All that's going to do is bring a little bit of cloud cover in late tonight, but nothing big. Much of the country relatively quiet. There's not much going on. Some rain in Texas, but overall things are fairly quiet. Here at home, Nothing showing up on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Overnight, just a few clouds here and there will clear out. We're looking at mostly clear skies. Late tonight, early tomorrow, a little disturbance passes to the north with some cloud cover, but that's it. A lot of sunshine tomorrow, a little bit warmer tomorrow. As we head into the day Wednesday, once again, looking good, some sunshine. A lot of people will be traveling. Later in the afternoon, though, we start to see some cloud cover, and that'll be a sign of some changing weather. So what I think is going to happen is we'll see a few light showers here late on Thanksgiving. Notice this is getting into late Thursday night. A few light rain showers. I think most of Thanksgiving will be fine. Then the main storm will hold back and come out on Saturday by the afternoon. That's a better chance of seeing some rain on Saturday. May linger into part of Sunday. It'll kick out of here, giving us some dry weather as we head into Monday. And overall, temperatures are not bad. You'll see the coldest of the air has gone back to the north of this area, and it kind of stays up there. I don't really see much of that coming southward for a while. As a matter of fact, longer term forecast looks pretty good. This is the end of the month into the first part of December. Look at that. Warmer. The normal temperatures. So here's your forecast for tonight. Clear, cold again tonight. Back in the 20s, somewhere around the mid 20s. We'll call about 24 with clear skies. During the day tomorrow, sunshine returns. A little bit warmer tomorrow. Daytime high tomorrow climbs back into the mid 50s. And then after that, it looks good. The big travel day will be temperatures approaching 60. Thanksgiving looks good. A few showers late. Rain chances on Saturday and a part of Sunday, but overall not bad on temperatures into early next week. Grant. Hey, thank you, Jesse. The ice sycamore is opening up play at the.